We continue our reading of God's Dream for You, the Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Today's reading, October 14, Repairers of the Breach, Part 4. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Don't pursue your own interest on that day, but enjoy the Sabbath and speak of it with delight as the Lord's holy day. Honor the Sabbath in everything you do on that day, and don't follow your own desires or talk idly. Then the Lord will be your delight. I will give you great honor and satisfy you with the inheritance I promised to your ancestor Jacob. I, the Lord, have spoken. Isaiah 58, 13 and 14. The Hebrew greeting is a beautiful one. Shabbat Shalom, the peace of the Sabbath be with you. What more appropriate greeting and solution for a time impoverished postmodern community of faith like ours? It is no accident that after his impassioned appeal for his people to minister to the physical and financial needs of the poor, God concludes with his own Shabbat Shalom appeal. It is almost as if he were seeking to remind us that genuine Shabbat Shalom brings not only divine peace to those who, how did he put it, call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, Isaiah 58, 13, but it is the day to bring his peace to those of earth's children who need it most. At the end of our frenetic weeks, do we have little money and no time left for the poor? Jesus declares, It is right to do good on the Sabbath, Matthew 12, 12, which interpreted means Sabbath afternoons are a gift from God through you to the poor, the suffering, the lonely, and the needy. Do you need to be with your family? Then on Sabbath afternoon, take your family with you to be with those in need. Do you want to be with friends? Then take your friends with you to help the poor on a Sabbath afternoon. Do you want to enjoy the Sabbath rest? Then take the rest of Jesus to someone in need on a Sabbath afternoon. I'm sure you can put together a checklist of Shabbat Shalom Sabbath afternoon activities longer than this one, outreach to inner city poor, sunshine bands to hospitals and foster care homes, nursing home visitation, singing, reading, praying groups, invite the lonely and disenfranchised family home for Sabbath dinner, adopt a student for any dinner, start a Sabbath meals on wheels ministry for shut-ins, Write letters and cards to the lonely. Ask your pastor for names. Create and maintain a personal website for the lonely. Shovel a senior citizen's driveway. Find creative alternatives in Florida, etc. For us, time-impoverished third millennials who really truly desire to embrace Jesus' solidarity with the poor, isn't the Sabbath the perfect gift. This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the chosen.